Breaking news. Justin Trudeau. Hi, everyone. Hi, Justin Trudeau. I wear blackface. I steal from charities. I pretend to be gay just to get votes. Deo, me say deo. Daylight come and me one go home. Six foot, seven foot, eight foot bunch. A major win for the Freedom Convoy 2022. Freedom Convoy 2022. As y'all can see, I am a supporter. Um, I marched uh, in the downtown protests in Toronto, Canada during the whole lockdown, COVID, COVID 2022. Um, but, I, but I'm getting ahead of myself. The Freedom Convoy 2022, everybody knows about this, everyone's heard about it. The Truckers of Canada protested on the steps of our government in, in Ottawa, Canada. They protested in February of 2022. Well, they have just got a major win. So I have a news article for you here. This is an article from nationalpost.com. Court rules liberals' use of Emergencies Act was unjustified, unreasonable. Prime Minister Justin Trudeau invoked the act in the wake of trucker convoy protests in downtown Ottawa in February 2022. Justin Trudeau, the Prime Minister of Canada. Just a real wet blanket, wet behind the ears. Makes you sick to your stomach. Anyway, Prime Minister Justin Trudeau invoked the act in the wake of trucker convoy protests in downtown Ottawa in February 2022. Ottawa, the liberal government's decision, the, the liberal government's decision to invoke the Emergencies Act in response to the 2022 Freedom Convoy protests was unreasonable, unjustified, and violated the charter the federal court has ruled. In a lengthy ruling published Tuesday, federal, federal Court Justice Richard Mosley found that though the Freedom Convoy protests in early 2022 were causing harm to Canada's economy trade and commerce, they did not rise to the level of a threat to national security as defined by the law. Mosley sided with civil liberties groups who argued the Liberal government went beyond its powers, violated the Charter, and was not justified in the historic invocation of the Emergencies Act in February 2022. I have concluded that the decision to issue the proclamation of the Emergencies Act does not bear the hallmarks of reasonableness, justification, transparency, and intelligibility and was not justified, Mosley wrote. He wrote that it was unintelligible. He declared that it was unintelligible. Did you hear that? I have concluded that the decision to issue the Proclamation of the Emergencies Act does not bear the hallmarks of reasonable, reasonableness, reasonableness, justification, transparency, and intelligibility. It was not justified, Mosley wrote. The judge! The judge. The judge of the, uh, I don't know, some high court of Canada. You know, I'm a Canuck, eh? Some high court judge, of the federal, ju federal justice, Richard Mosley, declared the Emergencies Act in intelligible. Inintelligible. You know, Justin Trudeau's a fucking ignoramus. Fucking Doorknob? Intelligible douche? 
On the same day, Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland, that crescent mood faced fuck, I can't stand that woman. She just looks evil. Christia Freeland, on the same day, Deputy Prime Minister crescent moon faced Christia Freeland said the government did not agree with Mosley's decision and promised to appeal it. She got a real crescent moon face. Not that I'm. Not that that bears much point to anything, but just just for the record, she has a crescent moon faced that Christia Freeland. She looks like a miserable woman, nasty, nasty woman. On the same day, Deputy Prime Minister Christia Freeland said the government did not agree with Mosley's decision and promised to appeal it. The public safety of Canadians was under threat. Our national security, which includes our national economic security, was under threat, she said. I was convinced at the time. I was, it was the right thing to do. It was the necessary thing to do. What the fuck do you know, you crescent-faced, fucking hatchet-faced, fucking... Make you sick to your stomach. These talking head dumbos, these dildos, these doorknobs, these ignoramuses, they're, in, they're intelligible. They're fucking intelligible. You heard the fucking court justice. You heard Justice Mosley. He said it himself. They're intelligible. Mosley's ruling stems from four legal challenges by civil liberty groups, including the Canadian Civil Liberties Association, CCLA, and the Canadian Constitutional Foundation. The groups argued the Liberals exceeded their powers when they invoked the Act on February 14, 2022, in response to ongoing Freedom Convoy blockades in Ontario and Alberta. At the time, the Act was largely used to freeze some convoy's participants' bank accounts, compel tow truck companies to cooperate with local police clearing out blockades, and mark parts of downtown Ottawa as a no-go zone. In coming to his conclusion, the judge found that using the act to create a no-go zone in downtown Ottawa to clear our protesters infringed on peaceful participants' freedom of expression. So they infringed on peaceful protesters' right to expression. That's what the judge ruled against our prime minister. He also he also he was also concerned about how government went about freezing some protesters' bank accounts without concern for collateral effects, namely on family members and joint account holders. Yeah, so like they. The government like freezed certain protesters' bank accounts. Um, some people were supporting the trucker convoy, like uh, through GoFundMe, crowd sharing, like different funding sites, PayPal stuff like that. They froze the truckers' accounts and seized their money. In, in a lot of cases, like. What a major overreach. Unbelievable. It, it was like a stick-up. Like a governmental stick-up. Freeze, give me your money. Thus, the measure breached their charter right to be secure against unreasonable search and seizure, he concluded. Someone who had nothing to do with the protests could find themselves without the means to access necessary means to access necessaries for household and other family purposes while the accounts were suspended. There appears to have been no effort made to find a solution to that problem while the measures were in, in effect, reads the ruling. The Emergency Act relies on a definition of a threat to the security of Canada embedded in the legislation that governs CSIS. When justifying its invocation of the act, the Liberals argued they had reasonable grounds to believe the protests posed a threat to national security and could be dealt with in any other way. Mostly disagreed. So in a public hearing, a public inquiry, it was ruled that they were um, within their rights, the Liberals, to invoke the Emergencies Act. The public inquiry found the Liberals, Justin Trudeau, was in his right to invoke the Emergencies Act. 
this federal um, inquiry by Judge Mosley finds that they were not within their rights. It was unjustified. Conservative leader Pierre Polyev also reacted to the news on X by placing the blame solely on Trudeau. He caused the crises by dividing people when he violated the charter rights to illegally suppress citizens. As PM, I will unite our country for freedom, he wrote on X. So, Justin, there you go. Quick, everybody, quick, everybody, hide. The truckers are coming. The truckers are coming. Quick, everybody, quick, into the sewer. Into the sewer. It was unjustified. Which is such common sense, what I was thinking. It's like everything is on the laptop. Everything's the laptop demographic. The laptop class. Why not communicate with the Freedom Convoy via Zoom? Via online streaming? Set up a camera? You know, like I can understand the Prime Minister not wanting to put his personal safety at risk. It's a big group of people demonstrating a lot of emotions, he could have easily set up a camera, got online, set up a screen on the steps of parliament right there in Ottawa, just set up a big screen or ask people to tune into their cell phones, tune into their smartphones, and he's going to do a broadcast, a Q&A, take questions, hash it out, lead like a leader. No. He wanted to basically crush our liberties, our civil liberties. And, you know, um, it's a hearken to his father, um, Pierre Trudeau, who invoked the a similar type act during the FLQ crisis in the 70s. The FLQ crisis was like a French terrorist organization. And they did a whole bunch of nasty, even murders. They killed, a, it was pretty serious. They were, you know, it's been a minute since I really thought about this or read about it, but they, like, they, they were pretty serious. They had kidnapped certain people and committed some murders. It was all about separating Canada, separating Quebec from Canada. Front de Liberation du Quebec, however you say it, the FLQ. And they were pretty extreme. They were a terrorist group, and they, like I said, they murdered some people. So Pierre Trudeau had a Invoked the War Measures Act, I believe. It was like um, martial law during the FLQ crisis to try to capture the terrorists, restore some order. I don't know. So I think it was really just... So I think the whole invocation of the Emergencies Act by Justin Trudeau, Justine Trudeau, was him trying to walk in daddy's shadow. Or whatever the fuck. You know what I mean? Trying to get his little slice of history and be the egotistic, narcissistic, power-tripping prick that most people see him as. Your manor legs. This mimbo. You ever see this manor legs mimbo? Looking all cute in South Korea with your little fucking manor leg position poses and your little mansplaining incidents with the Prime Minister of Italy? This guy's a royal dink. A grade A ignoramus. Inintelligible, as Judge Mosley rightly stated. So hey, yo. That's the latest in the uh, Freedom Convoy 2022 situation. Federal court found that Prime Minister Justin Trudeau acted unjustly.